everybody, welcome back to the Ironhound Sawmill and the road trip we talked about at the end of our last video that Deb and I were taking. We're heading west in Pennsylvania to a currently undisclosed location uh, to check out something we need for the mill. So, sorry, I'm just looking at the big fire going on over here. <laughs> I shouldn't be going down the interstate, but... Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll update you as we go along, and we'll share some of the scenes along the way. Uh, west side of 70, or going west on 78, you got the nice mountain range here on the right. And Deb and I and the kids used to come out here for years, both riding quads, four-wheelers, uh, in some of the, the mountain areas up here. And also, there's a couple of racetracks out this way we used to race at every weekend. So, uh, going about the same area now. So, let's get going. Hi, Shine. Hi, Dad. So, yeah, they're here to check out the truck. Unfortunately, we had a little turn of events. We can't get the title change over today, but we'll work it out and uh, go from there. So, yeah. Nice. I said it's an O2, so. That's my Ford issues, too. I got them, I got them patched together, so. And uh, my little accident there. Uh, a little bit of fiberglass work, yeah. huh? Yeah, and you can't get the damn shit. You no? know, you, nope, nobody has them in stock. Is that like the whole bedside, or? Yeah, yeah, it's just the bedside comes off. You pop a new one on. It's, oh. it's easy to do. Yeah. It's just nobody has the parts. I'll tell you what, this is this is a lifesaver here because I, with four being down, you can cut it out. This is a oh, stable if you go to Shine's place. <laughs> nice. Just stopped out here just before we're meeting to pick that up. There we are. I was like, wait a second. I'm like, that's why they stopped. Get me beer. Awesome. Very cool. Awesome. I was like, eh, hey, we got to stop and get him a case of light. What the heck? Yeah, so I got you, some man. church for you. Oh, appreciate it. Thanks for large. Like, that's all I have. So. That, that, that's my size. I have my ugly face on the back. That's all. So there it is, guys. That's the reason for our long trip today. Well, about an hour and a half trip out here today. This is replacing, not replacing the Ford, this is substituting the Ford until we can get it back on the road. I haven't decided if we wanted to keep it yet or if we wanna, are gonna sell it when we're done with it or keep it, I don't know. I might get, I might be like, yeah, let's have two trucks. What the hell? Never hurts to have two. <laughs> Heck no, hey, if born breaks down, <laughs> we don't have to go through this anymore, so. Different. All right, hey, some outside, and, and oh. unfortunately, we did not bring any, we don't have any in stock, so. <laughs> Definitely the Woodhound. Don Shives has got to have these. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it. Go. Thank you much. You can fight over the colors. All right. This is mine. You like that blue? Yes, I like this one. All right. You can have it. That's Good cool. Good thing I had the key. I think you locked it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I would have locked the keys in the first day. Great. Oh, Great. Two or two. Here's a compression. Okay. If you want. But I normally never do that. Yeah, I usually like that. So, 
Hit the button seven times. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Two. Yeah, they're good. No gloves, but four, five, six, seven. You just crank off in two or three pulls. <laughs> just eats wood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love the smell of red oak too. Yeah, yeah. That's sweet. We're gonna try to get this one over to Sam's. Okay. It's a nice saw log. Oh yeah. I don't know how far the split goes in though, but uh, the usual check at the end okay. 
It looks clear. That'll make some nice lumber. Yeah. Yeah, they talk into saving it to you from the, yeah. from the firewood pile. <laughs> it's tough. I mean, when you got to do firewood, you got to do firewood. Yeah. And in fact, we, I think we uh, relegated a few of the wood pile for the, for the uh, firewood. Mm -hmm. I probably will still pull a few logs out from the firewood pile. Yeah, I haven't had a bunch of knots and stuff. I was debating if I wanted to take that one too. But this will fit in the truck, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. It is. I actually just sharpened it. I was going to say. So. Do, you, do you hand file or do you? Yeah, uh, well, I have the two in one. That's nice. So. Uh, and this nice. is a 25 inch bar? Yep. <laughs> That's nice. I appreciate it. Thank well, you. you you work with some bigger wood, so 32 would probably be better. Yeah, I mean, it's. I, I can swap the bar off of my 262 onto it. It's a mm -hmm. 25 inch bar. And I was actually thinking of going down to a 20. Because, I mean, a lot of the firewood we get is not that big. Right. 20, and when you're cutting it in a pile of a stack of logs, you've got that bar sticking out the other side. You got to worry about hitting every other thing mm -hmm. in the pile and you know getting kicked back. And yeah, you, know, you don't need that. I mean, the brake saves you all the time when it kicks back. The inertia mm -hmm. brake goes on, and but I'd rather not get smacked in the face yeah. with it either. So. Yeah, I like it just a little bit more aggressive than what it is right now. Yeah, I mean, so that was a new chain. I, don't know, I think I have three files on that. Yeah, so far. So all that was just like. <laughs> it was going. When now I you know why. Now you know why shifty is yeah. getting sucked that's in. True, that's true. That's <laughs> true. It's not acting. It is pulling more across the log. Yeah. Thank you. What do you think, Tub? <laughs> that's you want to a grab thing. Hold? <laughs> you want to grab hold of that thing. No, that's all right. That is way more than a 362. Way more than a 362. Yeah. All right, we're pulling into Sam's house. If you watch Shibe's live streams, you know Sam's a guy who usually doesn't like to be on camera, so we'll try to get some footage, but. I guess the secret's out now. The story's out now. We're buying Shive's truck. This thing has been uh, been bouncing around a bit on YouTube with uh, different people maybe looking at it. But we need it. The truck is, uh, uh, our truck is down. So we went, we hooked up, and we got ourselves a, a nice Chevy Dually 3500. And uh, it's going to be keep us keep us going until uh, the Ford's back online. But man, Sam's back in the woods here. Probably going to drop the tire size down to 35. So. <laughs> Right now, I'm getting 11 miles to the gallon. <laughs> yeah, her trying to her trying to climb into the port is funny. Yeah. Yeah. There's no there's no step, and she's she, luckily there's a, a grab bar to climb in and out of, so yeah. she's able to get up in there. You know, on, the, on the passenger side, on the driver's side, she's there's no the grab bar. No grab bar. No, no. no. steering wheel. Mm -hmm. in there, so she's grabbing the steering wheel and yanking mm -hmm. herself up in there. But she gets in. I'll get I'll get you a step ladder for her. What do you think? Yeah, just put a step in there. You gotta have a rope to pull it back. There you go. You put it in the back seat, you put it down there, you pull it back in with the rope, you're yep. good to go. Yeah, this is this is my new baby. Well, nice. Yeah, I hate to see the dually go, but did that Chuck and Deb are the proud new owners of the dually over there. Yep, definitely appreciate it. Keep an iron oak sawmill online, that's for sure. We need yeah, it. Definitely uh definitely hope. It gets you through a hard time here, and I think it will. And uh, you get you the Ford back on the road once you get that transmission out. Here. A few months out for that, unfortunately, guys. It's, yeah. it's going to take a while, but it's going to be a bulletproof transmission. And I'll be happy with it. So. Yeah. Got to have a bulletproof transmission to tow a lot, yeah. and they do a lot of towing. So. Oh yeah, heavy logs and heavy equipment. Yep. Yep. So. Right. Anyway, guys, that's all we got. So. I appreciate Don, you coming over. Definitely take, appreciate the truck. Take man. care of my my old girl. <laughs> if you want to see her, she, you can come down. Visitation's open. You oh, can. I'm definitely gonna come down. I'm definitely gonna come yeah, down. Yeah, you gotta so. come down. We'll get we'll get some time down there in the log yard and uh, run the mill and uh, have a good time. Yeah, for sure. All right. Yeah. See you later, guys. Have a good one. Woo! Woo! Well, here we go. We're heading home in the newly acquired first Chevy I've ever owned, guys. I've never owned a Chevy. I like it so far. It's got it's got some good power to it, and uh, it's moving right along. 36 gallon gas tank. Wow. Uh, yeah. Just filled it up. Had to start the pump twice. And we'll see how the mileage goes on, on the drive home. We've got about an hour and a half. Deb's following me up. You see her back there in the Toyota, and uh, I'll probably be calling her up and chatting a bit on the way home. Hopefully, I'll have fun visiting with uh, Don Shive. 
make sure you check out his channel outside the shed it's all firewood does something along uh, does something along the lines he calls it roadside logging there's a lot of good trees go down alongside the road you get permission you go and harvest them up for some firewood or you can see you've got some mill logs and uh, yeah why let it sit there and rot might as well use it so check out his channel outside with shy he also does a live feed every most every Sunday night about 8 o'clock so uh, tune in for that and uh, have a good time well, there you go guys the dually has found its new home here at the Iron and Oak Sawmill. Don, you are welcome to come up and visit her if you need to. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. You kept Iron and Oak Sawmill online. Uh, we're going to be doing some hauling later on this week, I believe, and uh, put it to good use. But, Don, again, thank you for the, the walk around the wood yard up there you're, you're, and uh, running that 500i. Man, phew. I didn't get to run the splitter, though. I'll have to do that next time. What do you think? But the 500i, that thing is a beast. I like that. Uh, Mm, what's coming up father's day what do you think <laughs> put one on the father's day list i think so sure sure <laughs> well we'll see what happens guys they're they're not cheap but uh it's it's well worth it that's a, a great machine and uh hopefully maybe we'll see if we can pick one up i think that's about it yep. but hey so if you guys get a chance check out uh shive channel outside with shive uh a lot of firewood action there roadside logging the guy's known for his roadside logging check it out that's pretty cool and uh, you get to see that 500i run a bit more. And uh, check out that. He's got a nice splitter up there. I like that one. Um, he's got it modified working for him. And uh, what else? We're going to be we're gonna be going up there doing some milling work too as well. Yep. And we got a milling job lined up there. Got to do some custom beams up there. And it's, uh, it's a drive, but it's well worth the drive. Um, nice area up there. And uh, good people. Definitely good people. And uh, always willing to go back and visit up there, especially with you, Don. Appreciate it, Jive. Yes, Jive. And oh, the, the so t-shirts, the t-shirts. Thank yes. you. Thank you for the t-shirt. The stickers. Yep. And we will get you a t-shirt, definitely. Yes. Sorry about that. We should have these things on hand, but we'll get it together. But uh, I think we'll wrap this one up. Uh, if you have any questions about what we're doing here, about the dually, about the mill, the splitter, uh, don't hesitate to ask. Just put it down in the comment section. We'd be glad to help you out. And as always, thanks everybody for stopping out. We'll see you at our next time. Take care.